We all know SV2 is a phenomenal crawler. The thing can crawl with the best of them. But how is it on other surfaces? Sand, dirt, dirt hills, sand hills? Does it have enough wheel speed or does the weight make up for it? So we're gonna do that in this video. If you're unfamiliar with SV2, I'm gonna show it to you real quick on the table. We're gonna get it right out and see if it can actually hold its own in the dirt. Take a look. We have a Proline cliffhanger body. We have a Holmes Hobbies Revolver 1400 KV Snub Nose V2. We have an ESC, this one right here is currently from Pete. D case receiver, Castle BEC, since this does not have an internal BEC at all. We have a Reef 444 Smart Winch that the firmware was changed over to make it into a servo. SMT transmission, Kimbrough Spur Gear, 99 Micro Servo for the Vanquished Dig. It's got about a uh, $16 carbon chassis. This is based off of an Axial 10-2 Builders Kit, so there's not much here. It does have brass knuckles by SSD. The tires are Proline Crawler Predators. The wheels are Punk's Custom 3D. The bumper is also by Punk's Custom 3D. So there is quite a bit of carbon on this thing. All in all, it weighs in at 3 pounds, 13 ounces. And that's with the battery. The battery is a 500 milliamp 3S. So with all that said, it is time to get this thing to the dirt. Some of our stuff at Barbarian does get chewed out. Uh, so you kind of figure it, make it work for you if you can. Work some things around. <laughs> this up here is getting nice and loose. Oh, almost made it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, not quite. We'll give it one more shot. Now keep in mind, this has got just a board ESC. This is not the best for that style ESC. There's no heat sink or anything on it. So um, I could actually mess up the ESC on this, but we'll find out. Wow. So close, but... The balance looks really good as far as climbing on the dirt. It's bouncy, but it's not really, you know, not all that out of control, really. I don't think I'm going to get this one, though. A little bit much for it. Bring it down. And we're going to try to get up this right here. This is a really loose deal and usually requires a lot of wheel speed. Wheel speed is not something this one has. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. That was a good climb. I think the balance of this thing is really doing good. I want to try, uh, this may actually, oh, let's see if I can do something here. The crawl ability is still just amazing. So I'm going to get up here, dig it down a little bit, and see if I can come down right here. Yep, I made it down. That's for sure. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, I wonder if I can repeat that. I mean... <laughs> that may have been a one shot thing. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, well, while we're up here, we may as well try this again, too, huh? Now a little bit differently this time. 
Ha <laughs> got it. Okay, I'm impressed. It's doing great on the sand. Could use a little more wheel speed, but it's doing great. A little crawl action through here. Let's see if we can bring this up right here. Oh, see that's where a little more wheel speed would actually just bounce it right up. Still got it. Still got it. Complete with the stick underneath. We got a really nasty spot right here. Not sure if I can do anything with this. But I'll give it a try. Well, we're up into it. Now this surface here, once you break past the top crust, you really don't get much underneath it. But, oh wow, I bottomed out on the diffs. You know what? That was good enough. I'll take that. I am happy with this thing. <laughs> this thing just does great everywhere I put it. It's not a racer, but it's phenomenal and it's agile. Way more agile than I thought it would be out here, in all honesty. Oh, we got a little something going up here. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> Beautiful. Now here we are at this climb. This should be impossible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is just uh this is a jump hill. Yep. Oh. Nah, that's a little bit of too much. So we're gonna drop down this and go over this, which has got a pretty big peak on it. Let's check that out. Right on down. Cause we got bellied up at Barbarian quite a bit. about as good as it's going to get. Now let's see if I can come back across it. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Can we do something with that? Almost. Let me try that again. Almost getting there. Ooh. Not going to get out of that. Nope, I guess I don't quite have enough to get up that. Oh, I'm actually touching the top of this thing. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll have to leave that alone. First time on the dirt with SV2, 
Yes, the wheel speed was a little bit of an issue, but you know what? It was light enough and it was balanced enough to get up most everything. There was some stuff I tried that was that was just impossible unless I put some kind of crazy like 3000 kV motor on 3S or something, you know? And even then it would have been hard to get because of the way this is designed. But uh, overall, I am happy with how it performed. It made it up that one climb really good. Coming down, it fell, but then I went up again and made it down without crashing. Phenomenal. Happy with this truck. Um, I'm just happy with how this truck has turned out overall, just flat out. A few issues, um, in addition to the tire speed, is, you know, sometimes when you're out there like that, you kind of miss having the portals, the extra ground clearance. Sometimes that can be an issue. You kind of got to drive accordingly when it comes to that kind of stuff. But you know what? It did awesome, in my opinion. Uh, didn't get everything, but you don't have to. To know that the truck is awesome. Anyway, guys, in that description, we'll put links for just about everything I can find for SV2 down there. There are affiliate links, AMA, eBay, Amazon, and Horizon. Make sure you guys check that description, use those links, make sure you're subscribed, and thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching.